Hello there, I'm Bob the Fool, and this is Shadowrun Returns. Now, I know it says Shadowrun Dragonfall right here, uh, but don't worry about that. We are actually going to be playing Returns. We're not playing Dragonfall quite yet. That is the sequel. Um, so we're going to hit New Game. Now, if you don't know what Shadowrun is, Shadowrun is, in fact... Originally a pen and paper RPG, much like Dungeons and Dragons, except instead of being fantasy, it is set in uh, a more closer to modern day time and is uh, has a lot of elements of cyberpunk in the fact you could probably just call it cyberpunk if it wasn't for the fact that they have magic and orcs and elves. Um, anywho, but they have cool things like cybernetics and whatnot. Um, this is my third time doing this recording, so if it sounds like I'm trying to rush through it, it's because I am getting super annoyed at this right now, because I really want to record this game. Um, so, I'm going to read all of these things for the third time now. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be doing the Dead Man Switch, which is the original campaign or storyline, if you want to look at it that way. The cool thing about the Shadowrun games is that uh, with this Find More Stories things, you can actually play player-made games um, and storylines and levels, and you can make your own, and that's just super awesome, um, as long as you can write. Alright, so anyway, so the plotline for Dead Man Switch is... <coughs> uh my voice is getting shot because I've been doing voices for all of these. Ah, that's the tea. <sighs> In the urban sprawl of the Seattle Metroplex, the search for our mysterious killer sets you on a trail that leads you from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful megacorps. You will need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. Hey, right, so we're gonna go this. We're gonna do normal. Uh, we're gonna do male. We are running as a troll, and we're gonna be running as a street samurai, which basically means we're not gonna worry about any tech or magic or anything like that but if you're interested in what knowing what the other things are uh we have mage pretty straightforward uh decker which is what we call a hacker uh in the shadow run games uh shaman which is a different type of ma magic user they're animalistic um actually a really fun to play uh in the pen and paper version uh riggers riggers are they make things basically uh, they build little drones and vehicles, and it's just very useful and very cool, but we're not going to go with a rigor right now. And physical adept. This is um, your basic like Shaolin monk type of guy. They're somewhere in between... They're tr kind of a cross between the mage and the shaman, because they get magic as well, but they're also much like a sh street samurai. Um, but we're going to run a street samurai. We are going to go with that face. And we're going to go to our stats. So, since this is an RPG game, you have a stat lineup! <laughs> um, gameplay, by the way, is a cross between Boulder Gate and XCOM. Uh, the stats are body, quickness, strength, intelligence, willpower, and charisma. Body is basically your hit points and some damage reduction. These little triangles here are things you can unlock later. So it says this is the maximum for humans and elves. This is max for dwarfs, orcs, and then trolls. So we're going to eventually get our body all the way up. Um, quickness is your ranged abilities and uh, acrobatics, how fast you are, that type of thing. Uh, we're locked at an 8, solid 8 for as a troll. Um, but if you look at these ones, hey, you unlock additional thing, you know, Overwatch, if you don't have it yet. Uh, scroll for me, please. Um, but after, I'll finish going over everything. Uh, so strength is melee stuff, um, and throwing weapons. Intelligence is basically how good you are at, uh, technology stuff, for the most part. Um, 
It also reduces damage when you're... Well, we're not going to be dealing with the Matrix at all, so... Uh, no Neo for us. Uh, willpower is both your ability to use magic and hit with magic, but also reduces the damage you take from magical attacks. So we're probably going to put, put that add up. Uh, Charisma controls your uh, spirits and conjuring spells. However, the most important thing that we are going to be looking at for Charisma is it unlocks etiquettes. So etiquettes unlock different dialogue trees. Uh, we are only going to get three of them as a troll, uh, but we are going to try to max, ha max out Charisma because getting new dialogue is great. Um, you can also see here that these are other subsets. We're not really going to worry about conjuring or spirit summoning as a street samurai, but we definitely want uh, some etiquette. Let's grab... Uh, we'll grab Shadow Runner etiquette, because we're a runner. That's our job. Uh, then we'll grab another... Uh, we'll grab a close combat. Now this is your to hit in combat uh, versus your damage in combat, which is what these ones are right here. Um, as a troll, we can actually max everything out, which is great. Um, we're probably going to be focusing more on strength and body and less on range. However, I do want to get the ranged combat to hit up. Uh, as right now um, because right now we're low levels and we're probably gonna die pretty quickly if we're not you know at least at some range for a little bit we're probably not gonna worry about the individual guns for right now because the damage should be just about fine but the hitting is important um, and I think that is all the karma we're going to send karma is basically XP uh, if you can guess by now, the number at the bottom right here is how much karma you need in order to up it. Uh, so we need a name. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what do I want? Okay. Uh, we're going to go with... Drab shift. That's the name of our troll. Hit confirm. Your apartment, three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a shadow. Uh, not exactly a runner's dream pad. But right now, it's about all you have left. Running in the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're running, you're Nova Hot. You're running, working jobs that allow you to eat at a five-star restaurant. The next, well, you're here. This one's fa a famine for the ages. Slagging fixers ha hasn't called. The money ran uh, out, and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of society run by megacorps who just want your new yen. Something needs to change, and soon. So, uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, slang and whatnot in Shadowrun games, because they have made the world very, very, very diverse. So this is a slip of paper of your bank account, enough to cover you until the end of the week. What's your computer say? Uh, your computer, state of the art in 19... Uh, yeah. State of the art in 2050. Broken since 2051. Your notebook. Calendar, contacts, and that kind of thing. So what's on our calendar? It's empty. Nothing to do. Alright, let's look at our contacts. So, the list is sad. Dry it up. We got Carter Detroit. Fixer, no response to messages. Drowd, his runner, dead. No, Nash, fixer, missing since February. New Larry's a runner who's dead. Sam Watts, runner, 
Question mark, question mark, question mark. Probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Half Jack, dealer, retired or dead? Uh, so a fixer is what this sounds like. They fix things up for you. If you got something that broke down, there's who, who you go to. Uh, runners are basically street mercenaries. Our character would be a, be a runner. Uh, as, since we have the etiquette of a street runner. We know what we're talking about. Uh, and then the dealer. Uh, so the dealer is, I believe, someone who deals out decks. Uh, and which, as we were going over the classes earlier, a decker is a hacker. Uh, they physically have a piece of cyber tech fused with their brain so they can physically plug themselves into the internet. Um, and I believe that a dealer deals decks to people. If not, they probably just sell goods. Uh, list goes on. All either dead ends or just plain dead. Alright. Looks like we can... Your phone rings, jarring you. Who's calling at 3 a.m.? The screen leaps to life, making you squint again. Ends its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. Uh, so we're gonna... Dialogue tree. We're gonna make this troll the nicest guy ever. Uh, because I find it hilarious that this big hulking brute is super nice and polite. And just, just trying to help everyone have a good day. Um, so, what you been up to, Sam? I haven't seen you in months. <laughs> uh, don't bother if you're sad at the conversation. Nah, I'm not really here. Uh, just one reason for this lid. Someone's finally ganked me. <laughs> I'm dead. Probably had it coming. Well, you're an unsavory character like myself. You tend to associate with other unsavory characters who have been often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So, why am I dead? <laughs> who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. Bet you hit, hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are, well, me. Hey, uh, you remember that Re and Raku run when things went south, uh, uh, went to hell and we lost drought? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Drowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks, the night Drowd went down. Alright, Sam Goma. Your dad, what you like? Sagoma's a street samurai who proved her worth during a run uh, against Funchi. Funchi? Funchi. Funchi. Uh, last fall. She's the quiet type. An experienced runner. Um. Well, in the open here, sw. Ah, uh, shit. Gra. Draw. Drob. Drob shift. I named him and I forgot what to say. Um. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Ready to bolt? Nag, not yet. Nag, not yet. Let's get the fixer another five minutes. I don't know what type of voice I'm doing there. Feels piratey. Alright, new Larry. What do you got to say? You've been running with new Vet Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Drought owed almost as well as you did. Drought? No one saw anybody die like that before. Never saw anyone die like that before. Idiot. Shakes his head. 
Hey, this friggin' city sh drops shift. It's wet, and the rain feels like acid, and I want out of here. I get it. You know, just, just take a pill, relax. Sure, Rob, sure. Just whatever you say. I don't know, Drob. I don't know why I put his last name in there. I should have not put his last name in there. Sam's a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty hard lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. Shakes his head. The run went sideways night on ways to Sunday. Now the fixer's late. The smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. It's, this was supposed to be a public place. Cut the drag, sir. Um, we both know why drought went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip, uh, chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a truth, toothy smile. I've been waiting all night that New Larry, Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, New Larry? Go ahead. Spill it! You are sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy! You think I was sloppy? I've been... You've been twitching all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. That's true, Sam. Did you mean to miss a beat back then? No, uh, Job, I didn't miss a... Beat? I was on my game the whole time. Remember I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Drowd. Something dawns on him. He leans in to New Larry. Amused and dangerous. We were set up. He knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before or we hit Ren Yeah. Ren Raku. How come you who haven't gecked this guy before he up unloaded on Drowd? I've seen you flinging a lightning bolt, son. You should have been burnt you should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the hoster. Do Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, look over looks over your shoulders at the darkness. He's looking for someone. It's not the fixer. Okay, I see what's going on here. You chummers are dam damaged. I'm out. Uh, what do I think is the nicest way to put this? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be stuck talking that accent all day. Uh, did you keep, uh, did you keep this here long enough? Hands up, where's he am? All right, how much do they pay, pay you to sell us out, Larry? He stops and smiles, and a smile slowly peers on his face. Honestly. Didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland in and set head up with a hush oh, corp job. I'm out of this racket. We've got incoming! New Larry relaxes and owes you a drag eating grin. Looks like my I knew Ren Ruka friends are finally here! They're gonna take the hard drive off your corpse, buddy! We should have who's our friends carefully drop. Yeah, hey, we'll buy you a drink after this. Oh no, let's let's rounds on me. You owe me several. <laughs> All right. Leave the mage. Kill the others. All right, uh, now we are actually on the battle system. So it is a turn-based battle with action points. Ah! Uh, you spend action points by moving, attacking, so on, so forth. Uh, uh, I haven't actually gotten this. Uh, okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, let's do a quick save.
So I am wounded, but I can get to drop. So what do we got here? We got pistol. We got fist. We got me self a shotgun. One for cover. Fire at Larry. We'll have Sam hit cover too. And we'll take Larry down. What's this? Ah. Uh, so we got burst fire. Two attacks, one action. Uh, low accuracy, low critical. Spray and play. Two attacks. Uh, with less chance of critical, may hit adjacent characters. Uses six volts. Uh, you had it coming. Alright! And Riku security, eh? That's partial. I don't think we actually want to leave our cover. What's this? Aim shot. Okay, so higher accuracy, lower damage, same damage. Uh, it's got to cool down. All right. So hopefully we can get everyone out of here alive, even though Sam Go almost supposed to die. Uh, ain't got no cover. Oof. Right. Okay, let's get Sam or San San Goma into cover. Right. We'll just have her jump onto the other side right here. There's one left. Oh, we got a couple more coming in. This is bad. They have a shaman. Oh, there's the shaman. <sighs> Gotta take care of everything myself, don't I? Oh, of course you can do summons. Uh, hopefully taking out... I don't got any cool abilities. Hopefully taking out the summoner takes out the summon. But, I could always be wrong. Alright. Ah, gotta miss. Okay. Um, uh, switch into the pistol. Take out this guy. And I got no abilities because uh, my guns are so low. Uh, so you're out of ammo. What do you got? Got a shotgun. Thought you were supposed to be a street samurai. Ah, there's magic. Uh, so we got haste. Bear totem. Uh, heals friends within three of the damage of the most recent attack. So yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do a heal. And yeah, let's hit behind cover. Take a shot. Uh, what do we got here? Kneecapped. So it takes away an action, uh, reduces hit points by s or damage by six. Hmm. All right. 
that's on cooldown, so we're going to take a second shot. Multiple guns. Very useful. Uh, she can't see him. No, she can. There we go. UK Sam! Sam is breathing heavily, and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. <sighs> you don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this gig, Drob. Me? <laughs> Not so much. I think we're gonna hang it up. Find a nice bathroom somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. How about you? Uh, let's see here. I think I'll find a better class of people to hang out with me. I do this. It's the only life I know. Find a safe house out of town, lava. Oh. Uh, man, no, I'll be honest, uh, I'm a street samurai, this is what I do. Well, you're a dumbass and I'm a drunk, t and, I'm a dr and I'll drink to you when you're dead. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You're gonna outlast me. Guess you can drink to me. Yes, that's true. Alright. You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would, he, who would care if I died? Who even gives a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name came up on the top of that list. Maybe it's the only name on that list. Uh. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I've got a hundred thousand new yen insurance policy. Payable when you find who uh Yeah. Who creased me? Okay, who creased me? Uh I've with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my live form. Rogers, Maggots, and McLean. The job's done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet? The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Proceeds to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Maggots, and McLean. And have installed a secure... Yeah, dedicated phone line, so you may contact us directly with the ta when the task is done. We will then bring a verification process. Note that you must also ha have be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transi transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swings back to Sam. Sam straightens up. Talk slowly. First time. Talk seriously. First time. Look. Jab. Drab. I led a Drek life, and I probably left a Drek corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Let's see here. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. Let's see. I've traded a drinking buddy for a paycheck. My schedule's pretty clear right now. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hope you just said yes. I've got a located trick spot slotted in my head these days. If when my heart stops, it activates. That's how you find me. See you on the slab. Well, rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. Alright. And with that... Eh. <laughs> with this, I'm going to leave it. And I will come back to this another day. Um, however, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know what to do.
Laters. Hopefully, I didn't offend too many people with my very bad Irish accent.